Hello, thank you for tuning in. In this video, we will cover some of the new features available to you in Shop Floor 8010. Now, the features that we'll cover specifically are custom templates for forms, a check for WPS applicability, and also a weld map drawing feature. So today we'll start with the custom template for forms. We know how important it is to have consistency when it comes to formatting your welding forms, brazing forms, your traveler documents, and the reports that you generate. And to help you achieve this consistency, uh, we have added to Shop Floor the ability to download the HTML template used to generate the PDFs. You can access this from the preferences uh, window in Shop Floor. Once you've downloaded that template, you are able to modify it using the HTML code. And then you can upload that template back into Shop Floor so that when you generate the PDFs, you have complete control over the format uh, that they, they appear in. Of course, we have our implementation specialists available and on hand to assist you with this as part of the setup service. The second feature that we'll be covering is the check for WPS applicability. We can really think of this as a second line of defense or an extra safety net to make sure that the welding procedures we choose for a given weld are appropriate based on the base metal thicknesses, materials, and also the uh, post-weld heat treatment options. So for instance, if we have a work in progress that we're tracking in shop floor, whether we've created it from within the program or imported it from compress or inspect, we can make sure that the WPS that we choose within shop floor is the appropriate one. So for instance, I have two cylindrical shells, uh, both made from SA516 grade 70, but I'll change one of the thicknesses here to make the uh, component thickness, the base metal thickness, fall outside of what's allowed on that welding procedure. Now, once I've made this change, I can go back to the welded joint and if I refresh my deficiencies here, shop floor will alert me that the thickness on the actual cylindrical shell itself um, falls outside of the limit on that welding procedure. And again, this is an extra safety precaution built in so we can go back and make sure that we make the right selection for which WPS to use. The final feature that we'll discuss today is the heat exchanger weld map. This is a collaboration between Compress and Inspect, Shop Floor, and the Codebrit interface to SolidWorks. So for all of you heat exchanger fabricators out there who have Compress for your mechanical design and also Shop Floor to coordinate all of the welding activities, you can now uh, utilize the Codebrit interface to SolidWorks in order to automatically generate these weld maps along with the detailed fabrication drawings and NDE inspection drawings uh, within SOLIDWORKS. So if you have any questions or want to learn more about these features uh, that we've covered in this video today, please give us a call at 941-927-2670 or email in at sales at We'd love to hear from you. Thanks.